Hey everyone and welcome to your Indie Corner Weekly Wrap Up, the place where you can get all your Nintendo Indie news all within 5 minutes. Before we get started, I just want to thank all of you so much for helping us get up to 2,500 subscribers just a few weeks ago. Now the more we grow, the more Nintendo love we can bring you guys, so keep on sharing and liking those videos. Now today we have a ton of Nintendo Indie news, so hold on your joysticks, here we go! Now last week on the North American eShop we saw the arrival of Soonshine X-Type Plus and Gaia Breaker on the Wii U eShop. Both X-Type Plus and Gaia Breaker are classic shoot-em-ups, each with their own unique elements. In Gaia Breaker you'll be protecting the Earth from an invading menace and blasting your way through six different stages. X-Type Plus will challenge you with increasingly difficult levels as you fight procedurally generated boss battles. For those unfamiliar with the term procedurally generated in gaming, it means an algorithm will keep making something harder until you die. And finally, Soonshine will have you tapping your Sun and Moon medallion and killing off spirits as fast as you can tap them. Just tap those ghosts and shoot for a high score. It's harder than it sounds. Starfall Studios teased Nintendo fans showing off Sneaky Ninja and saying, wouldn't this look good on the Wii U? Yes, Starfall Studios, yes it would. Put it on my gamepad. Sneaky Ninja is a 2D stealth platformer inspired by Mark of the Ninja. You'll have to utilize your ninja agility, arsenal of power and equipment, plus the environment to conceal yourself and escape the samurai. And finally, RC Maniacs unveiled their new project, Spiky Walls for the Wii U. If you had nightmares of not being able to play Flappy Bird on your Wii U, you'll soon find yourself sleeping better because that's exactly what this game allows you to do. Just, just with, with a different look. Last week, Twisted Fusion and RC Maniacs unveiled screenshots of their latest collaboration titled Lock Drop X Twisted Fusion. How original. Title aside, the screenshots do look beautiful, and we look forward to seeing what these two will be surprising us with in the future. Starting off our development updates, we heard that Dreamfall Chapters is no longer coming to the Wii U, opting instead for an exclusivity deal with another console. Alright, it's the PS4, whatever. Developer Slightly Mad Studios announced that a limited edition of Project Cars only for the Wii U would be available next year. The limited edition would include a steel case, four sleeve designs, a behind the scenes book and five bonus legendary cards. So far this has only been announced for Europe, but we're hoping for a release in other territories too. The Wii U title Hardforth, which was funded back in May, has released some new updates regarding their spell switcher functionality system. For those hearing of this project for the first time, Heartforth is a 90s inspired metroidvania RPG about a young wizard on her journey to stop a spirit from consuming her homeland. In this title you'll be running and jumping around while whipping or casting magic to blow your enemies away all while gaining XP. Lunar Ray Games has released some new gameplay footage for their game Time Spinner, but forget new gameplay for a second, just look at bits of this trailer for the game. They destroyed my family and my home. I will destroy them all. Time Spinner will have you guiding a young woman who travels through time to destroy the empire that killed her family. Last week we got some exclusive details regarding Wobblytooth's latest project, Battle Miner, for the 3DS. For those tired of waiting for a Minecraft port, Battle Miner offers a similar experience for the 3DS, allowing users to build whatever structures they want in this open world and share screenshots on Miiverse. The game makes itself unique with the inclusion of giant mutant ants that have invaded the world. It's up to you to fight the ants, free the hostages, and build whatever the hell you want. Eli from Treefall Studios is back at it and has just released a new teaser trailer to his latest game, The Maze. This puzzle adventure game is for the Wii U and will set you off solving various types of mazes. The developer has assured the gaming community that this new game will have much more content than their previous title, The Letter. The game will include a save feature and will be much more fleshed out. If you'd like to support the new project, you can check out the Indiegogo campaign seeking funding. Paul Hamilton is coming out of the gate running with his new Kickstarter for Super World Cards which could hit the Wii U with enough funding. The game is reminiscent of the 16-bit kart racers, giving you several wacky characters to control along with a bunch of crazy items to attack each other with. The game will support 1 to 4 players, battle modes, and cameo characters from other indie games. A kart game with indie game characters? There's a lot of potential in that idea. Anyways, if this is your thing, they're still looking for funding, so check it out. 
Now, Aegis Defenders is only halfway to their $150,000 stretch goal to bring their game to the Wii U. In this 16-bit tactical platformer, you'll explore a world where control over ancient technologies means power, and a ruthless empire has arisen. In this title, you'll play as a pair of rune hunters searching for one thing that can save their village, the legendary weapon known as Aegis. Finally, congratulations to Disparity Games in successfully funding their Kickstarter for Ninja Pizza Girl. All the best on your development, guys. And that brings us all up to date on a Nintendo Indie News for August 18th, 2014. I'm Jason, and remember for more Nintendo Indie News and coverage, keep it to NintendoEnthusiast.com.